morning friends this is jean your support coach and mentor signing on on a facebook live good morning good morning good morning happy wednesday happy hump day and uh, you know what the days fly so fast i was really wondering whether it's wednesday or tuesday but dream dream my friends calls for payment when you dream something you pay in terms of your time you pay in terms of your energy you pay in terms of your mental alignment in the sense it costs you to be aligned to a particular level to achieve your dream have you seen anybody achieve their dream but not being in the zone not being there physically mentally right um, even if they have were damaged physically in the sense they had a physical uh, altercation they had a physical injury but their thoughts were so strong their willpower was so strong that they looked past that physical imperfection to say how do i lead myself through my physical ailments to be who i want to be and to do what i want to do how do i lead myself past my current situation which is just current because of the past momentum beyond my financial crisis beyond my financial seemingly block beyond my health that you know seems to be stopping me beyond the time that seems to be a crunch beyond these things beyond these uh, parameters how do i lead myself beyond these to still go and achieve my dream because if you can't lead yourself you can't lead others dream demands payment dream believers are many but dream buyers finally people who will buy into the dream to achieve their dream to see their dreams fulfilled are few people who believe in their dream people who have a dream are many everybody talk to your parents talk to your grandparents talk to your siblings talk to your friends hey did you ever have a dream did you ever think you wanted to you know impact something do something sometimes they say nah no just because it's buried so deep inside that they even forgot about it but dig into it ask them questions what did you want to be when you were young what's your version of ideal world if you could do one thing to impact somebody do something and money wasn't a cost what would you do like and sometimes they might say i just want to stop working and relaxing that's a dream too but what's behind that relaxation what's behind the desire not to work because everybody honestly likes to be fruitful and contribute so sometimes it's the weariness of the day to day struggle that puts people back and says you know what my dream is to just relax so ask people what's their dream everybody has a dream that 90% of them have given up sometime or the other because the payment was too much sometimes they didn't realize that it was the payment sometimes not in monetary terms because it's easy to fork up a monetary balance if forking up a monetary payment ensured your mental and physical well-being ensured your physical fitness ensured uh, you know your energy your spirit that life would be so easy just fork up a sum just name the sum and you know what that buys me everything no that payment sometimes the monetary payment is just sometimes the fee to go to the next step but it doesn't mean that you're physically and mentally and spiritually aligned to that next step you're being called to the growth but you've not spent time developing other parts of yourself so you are physically there you're mentally there you're spiritually there dream my friends demands payment what payment are you willing to give do you realize that sometimes when you're living through life that it's the payment that's being called from you and is the payment that you have to answer to even when you wish both for yourself to have or to start somewhere it calls you to be aligned to that starting somewhere it calls for an activity from you sometimes it calls from a task from you and you wonder why am i doing this i mean like nobody else seems to have this weird goal that i have a weird idea that i have a weird implement desire for implementation that i have like why am i doing this right because nobody else is doing it because i'm the only one who's seeing the fruit in it i'm the only one who's seeing the dream in it and the only one who's seeing the calling in it but then they're speaking to you so answer that call and when you answer that call that call sometimes is not just 
to be that person, to be the best woman engineer, to be the best woman financer, to be the best uh, business person in your industry, to be, to be the person who birthed that unique idea. The call is not that. The call is for you to be mentally aligned to the different challenges that will come with it. Because if there were no challenges, trust me, along with you, everybody else would have achieved it, right? Often people say when we start dreaming, that's when also the complications start. But you know why the complications start? Because of momentum. If that dream was an everyday achievable thing, everybody would have done it. But because that dream is a dream, so it's clearly one step higher, two steps higher, five steps higher. That's why it's a dream because people think, you know, oh my God, how can I achieve it? It's too complex. It's too, so it's a dream. The dream to lead a nation, the dream to be the best, the first woman in business in a particular area, the first man uh, to start jetpacks. I was looking at jetpacks yesterday. So the dream, because it's not done before, when you think about it, your mind immediately starts with objections and that's the ob momentum of objection. So when you start trying to fulfill your dream, sometimes you will have a backlash of events and activities simply because that's the past momentum that was there of why the dream is not an everyday reality, right? And it's only when you get past those, the momentum of those objections that demands a payment from you in terms of time, focus, energy, networking, meeting people, monetary investment. That's when you are able to see past, go past those objections to make that dream into an everyday reality. So my friends, if you are experiencing physical ailments, look past those physical ailments to see if somebody else was having this physical ailments, how would you guide them? How would you support them? If you are facing a financial crunch, everything is not with money. How can you barter your time and your energy to fulfill and help somebody in exchange of something? Think out of the box because that objection that you're facing is just temporary right now. It's not your long-term reality. Your long-term reality could be your goal could be a dream if you spend time achieving it, if you spend time thinking about what it is going to be like. Trust me, my friends, if the goal wasn't important, the dream wasn't beautiful and the dream wasn't meant to be, you wouldn't be dreaming it. So give yourself the courage, give yourself the hope. And if things seem to be on a crunch right now, recognize that it's the payment time. Sometimes you got to pay before you get the stuff, right? And that's the dream. That's the payment before you actually see the dream into a reality. And payment is not supposed to scare you because payment in terms of time, energy, it's thus, it's just that you're biting bigger than what you can chew. It's just that you are fitting into shoes that are a bigger size and you need to grow into them in terms of thoughts, feelings, actions, physical fitness, mental fitness, mental alignment, you need to grow into those shoes. So if life is calling a payment from you, recognize that for what it is. It is the desire to grow into your dream, to fit into your goal, to it fit into the shoes of your calling, right? Recognize it for what it is and make the payment fun. Make the payment an everyday activity. Make the payment say, I have to get through this, right? And if this is my payment, so be it. Let's work it out to see how we can make it grow, how I can make the payment easy so that I can go on to the next step. As soon as you're ready to bite off this challenge and say, you know what, I'm up to it. The payments will seem so simple till your goal is achieved at a higher and higher level. This is Jean, your support coach and mentor signing off. And people ask me, what do I do? I truly and honestly believe that there is this capacity inside of everybody to grow. And if I can help even one listener, right? Think more, be more, do more and achieve more. Then I feel that I would have done my task. And this is my way of reaching out to you first thing in the morning. So if you are facing payment today, recognize that it is payment for your dream, payment for your ideal. Sometimes it's just reading, reaching out for that beautiful softy cone that you're paying for, you know, after a beautiful hot day, you want that beautiful treat. Sometimes it's more, sometimes it's much more than that. And only you know the value of that goal, the value of that dream. So I'm going to sign off and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow on another notation about dream. I do have my mastermind. So if those of you are looking to carve out your dream, carve out your um, steps to your dream, then do send me a message and we look at how to get you into my mastermind on carving out your dreams. 
This is Jean, your support coach and mentor, signing off. And I look forward to connecting with you tomorrow on another beautiful world. Bye for now.